guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will share with you how to make your own cake tire. So let's dive into it. To make your own cake tire stand you will need of course plates. I have three plates here that I found at my parents house. You can probably find a lot of these like random plates that look really nice in thrift stores or you can do like me shop your parents house or your own cupboards or friends clearing out things it probably will be the longest task in the project of making your own cake tire stand to find the right plates and uh, some people also use a little teacup on the top if you want to have that little alice in wonderland style which is really cute otherwise you will also need a cake tire stand and i ordered mine on ebay I really like the selection from the seller I bought it from but was ordered from Australia and took like 8-9 weeks before it arrived. Then you will need a drill to drill the holes in the plates so the cake tire stand can basically be attached. And really really important part, you will need a special, a special drill bit for glass and tiles. So not your normal drill bit because then the plates will break. You will also need a tape measure and a pen. Start by measuring your plates and find the center of the plates and mark it with a pen. The next step is to cool down your plates in cold water and this is because once you're drilling in them they will be really hot so this is to prevent them from overheating. Once you cool down your plates you need to make sure that you are working on a safe surface. Ideally a workbench or if it's warm enough to be outside you can also complete this product on the grass. However it's currently winter here so I will have to complete this product indoors and as such I got this piece of wood uh, to protect my floor once I'm drilling. Next step is to start drilling. You will notice that some plates are easier to drill than others and take around 10 seconds while other plates take a couple of minutes. I also learned a few tricks along the way, uh, for example to drill slower and, and to also attach a little piece of tape to prevent the drill bit from slipping. It is now time to mount your cake tire stand. Start by poking a metal screw throughout the bottom plate, then put a soft washer on and then start to attach the fittings. Remember to put a soft washer on before and after attaching the plate. Repeat until all three fixings have been attached. This is the final result of my cake tire stand, isn't it pretty? I'm super happy with the result and I hope you will be inspired to make your own cake tire stand. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and please if you, I would love you even more if you did subscribe to my channel. Thank you!